Now, a viewer just sent me this photograph, or he sent me three photographs. The question he asked was, is it okay to use two layers of insulation? Because where they are up in Scotland, uh, they're starting to use two layers, and the top layer they're using with a um, tissue face, obviously, so that they can torch or apply something to the top surface. Um, because the tissue faced insulation is really expensive. So they're using a thinner tissue face over the top of the thicker PIR, which has got the silver foil on it. And he's asking whether or not that's the done thing. So the answer to the question is, I don't see it as being a problem. Um, I mean, I, I don't have any authority in this, but there's, I, I like to look at things on a scientific thing. So first of all, I've got to say is that the photograph that he sent me of this is wrong because you can't see the air vapor, but air vapor control layer coming up all around the edges. Also with the ply up against the wall, that's not good practice because it's something that could rot. Um, this ply down the side here, well, it depends on what they're going to do on the other side of it, etc. But that looks a bit flimsy there. I don't know how they're going to deal uh, with that um, there, so I can't comment. That could be okay. But more to the point, there's, an air, there's no air vapour control layer underneath this. There should be a good air vapour control layer, which is either a torch on or um, one which is self-adhesive that goes down. And it should be completely airtight. I, I could talk about a swimming pool. This would be a swimming pool underneath here if you had no insulation in it. Um, it would be completely sealed all the way around, come up all the sides, all the way around, and then you've got a good air vapor control layer. Now, the quality of the way that they've laid this insulation is really quite good. If you look at it, there's hardly any gaps. I mean, you, you could say there's a gap there and a gap there, um, which is bigger than the other gaps, and that's fair enough, but compared with some that I see, that is this is unbelievably good. Now, all of this helps work, um, helps the whole thing work because we very rarely see um, roofs, warm roofs laid without, warm roofs laid incorrectly without an air vapor control layer going wrong. Um, however, where they are going to go wrong is where you've got lots of thermal bridging through holes. And that really brings me to the next thing is because when you put the next layer of insulation over the top, which is done here, it cross each each one of these joints crosses over the joints underneath it, meaning that there's a lot less chance of a uh, any kind of thermal bridging because of no insulation, any kind of movement of air because of no vapor control layer underneath it. So the tighter all the insulation is put in, we find the better it works. I'm, because of all these videos that I do, I, I get lots of this coming through, lots of information. I see it from the, the blunt end where it all goes wrong. We take up lots of roofs where it's gone wrong. Very rare we take up a warm roof that has a problem. And then when we do take it up, it's normally around the edges where the, the moisture down below can get up because there's no air vapor control layer underneath it. So you can see here that he's put the, 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 the second layer of insulation over the top and this is a tissue face assumingly because he doesn't tell me what he's going to put on here because he's going to either torch on something over the top of it i don't i don't know this particular brand never used it don't know if you can torch onto it so he might be putting a single membrane a single ply membrane over the top and it'll be glued on and he supplies me with the third third photograph and you can see that uh, again uh, the joints are really quite tight in all of this and there's the thinner insulation going over the top. So my con my conclusions are, to, or to answer the question, we don't see it as a problem. In fact, we're now starting to think that even if we are, because even down in London, the cost of the, uh, and the people don't stock it, the cost of the tissue faced insulation and getting it is, because people don't stock it, is really quite expensive. We've moved over now to using a lot of PIR with foil on it, even though I don't agree with it, but it's a cost situation and we're not seeing it go wrong. So theoretically, two layers of insulation uh, with staggered joints with PIR, uh, which has got foil on it, well put together works as well depending on what you're going to be putting over the top of it and whether or not you can fix to the top most of what we're doing down here we're putting uh, osb on the top of it um as um so therefore we've got a huge great big sandwich underneath it hopefully that helps anybody need any more information please get back to me speak soon